Welcome to my lecture online. Here's another very interesting viewer request video. And what was unique about this one was at first when I looked at it and I go, wow, that is kind of a complicated problem because we need to use a method that requires calculus. But then I actually figured out that there might be an easier way to solve it, at least get a, an approximate answer without calculus. So I actually emailed or, or responded to the viewer and said, do you understand calculus? Do you know how to use calculus? The viewer said, yes, I know calculus. And I go, okay, I can solve the problem both ways. So we're going to have two methods to solve this problem. The first method, which will not give us the exact answer, but something close. And then the next method using calculus, where you actually will get the exact solution. So what this is, is this is a ring. Notice that the ring has a radius of 30 centimeters and there's a missing piece of the ring. The missing piece is 20 centimeters along the arc of the, of the uh, ring. And we're supposed to find the center of mass. Now, the equation to find the center mass is as follows. The center mass in the y direction, because in the x direction, if we put it just right on the x, y axis, we put the center of the ring right at the origin, and we line it up in such a way that the gap is equal in size on both sides of the y axis, and we have a perfect symmetry. And in the x direction, the center mass is uh, right on the origin. But in the y direction, it's going to be somewhat below the center of the, uh, of the x, y axis. It's going to be a little bit below the origin because this piece is missing. So the center mass in the y direction is going to be equal to the sum of the y tilde. In other words, we're going to think of it this way. We have a full ring, and then we're going to subtract this section from it. So we have the center mass of the full ring times the mass of the full ring, and we're going to add that to the missing piece. And the missing piece, of course, is essentially subtracting that, divided by the sum of all the masses, the mass of the whole ring minus then the mass of the missing part. So when there's a missing part, we subtract. When there's an existing part, we add. And so this is from i equals 1 to 2. And this is sub i, sub i, sub i, from i equals 1 to 2. There's two parts, the ring, the full ring, minus the missing part. Now, the reason why we can do it like this without calculus is if you look carefully, you can see that the ring is essentially at a distance of 30 centimeters away from the origin. Not the whole ring, it would have to be a straight bar, but because it's a relatively small section, you can almost think that the center mass of this ring is right at the edge of the ring or 30 centimeters away. In essence, it's slightly below that. We could essentially, with geometry, find out where that exact point, point is. As a matter of fact, now that I'm thinking about that, this could become a nice three-part problem. So we'll do it in three different ways, and I'll show you why. Okay, so first what we're going to do is just assume that it's at the very edge, and so therefore the equation becomes center mass in the y direction is equal to the center mass of the entire ring, which is right at the origin, that would be zero, times the mass of the ring, like this, minus the center mass of the missing piece, which is going to be at a distance of 30 centimeters, times the mass of the missing piece. Now the mass of the missing piece is going to be uh, the total mass times the ratio of the length of the missing piece divided by the length of the ring. So that would be the 20 centimeters divided by 2 pi times the radius, which is 30 centimeters. So it's that ratio of the total mass, which is going to be the mass of the missing part. Okay, so now we can go ahead. Oh, we have to divide the whole thing by the sum of all the masses, which is m minus the piece of the missing mass. So that would be m times 20 divided by 2 pi times 30. 30. So it would be the ratio of the total mass that's subtracted from that mass. Okay, so now we're ready to solve this problem. First of all, this is zero. So this is going to be equal to, and notice that every term contains an m, so this cancels out. This becomes one. This cancels out. So we end up with um, minus 30 times 20 over 2 pi times 30. And notice that the 30s cancel out in the numerator, so we can go ahead and cancel the 30s out like this. In the denominator, we have 1 minus 20 divided by 2 pi times 30, like this. Okay, so now we need a calculator. 
So we have uh, 2 times pi times 30. Bring that to the numerator times 20. So that's the fraction of the whole ring. Now the fraction of the whole ring is kind of interesting. So the fraction of the ring is equal to 0 0.106, just kind of as a reference. So the length of the missing piece is about 10.6% of the length of the entire ring or the circumference of the whole ring. So we subtract that from, um, uh, that's the fraction, and we subtract that from 1. So we go um, minus plus 1. I think I forgot where I was at. So I'm going to start over again because I completely forgot where I was at. So again, that's 2 times pi times 30. And we bring that to the numerator. And times 20. There we go. That's indeed. So this is 1 minus 1.06. Matter of fact, I'm going to write that down. So this is equal to uh, minus, the minus is still there, the 20 divided by 2 pi divided by 1 minus 1 point, uh, 0.106, just kind of as a reference. So this is equal to 20 divided by 2, which is minus 10 over pi divided by 1 minus 0 0.106. Okay, so this is equal to minus 10 over pi, which is roughly 3. And then we divide that by, um, let's see, 1 minus, so minus plus 1 equals, so that's divided by 0 0.8939. Okay, bring that to the numerator, times 10, and divide by pi. And I end up with, this is equal to 3.56 centimeters. Of course, negative 3.56 centimeters, which means that the center mass is down here at a distance of minus 3.56 centimeters below the origin or below the center of the ring. It drops the uh, center mass by 3.56 centimeters. Now, is that the exact answer? Of course, not the exact answer because we took this missing piece, center mass as being exactly at the tip of the ring, which in essence, it's a little bit lower than that. So that means that the center mass is not quite that far below the origin. It's probably a little bit less than that. I will show you in the next several videos how we can get a more exact answer for that. So that's the first easier way to do it. Then we'll go on to a slightly more difficult way to do it. And then finally, we'll use calculus to get the exact answer. So stay tuned and we'll show you how that's done. So this method one is, uh, is what? Using this? It's an approximation method one. It's, it's so what we're doing here is realizing that it's almost like a straight line. So we use it as a straight line with the center mass right at the edge of the circle when it's actually a little bit below that. 